Hello everyone, we're back with another custom build. I'm Sano and this is my daughter Naomi. She's gonna be my little helper today. We actually already did half of the custom build, but I forgot to <laughs> press the record button on the cam camera, so I took it apart and we'll be doing it again. So I'm, I'm uh, turning 30 today, so I have gotten myself some new parts and uh, this custom build, build is going to be all new parts apart from the bars that are my old titanium long way chronos bars 650mm high and 610mm wide then, we, then I have got my old blunt envy double clamp it's really light and it has it has got 6 mm bolts, so it doesn't strip easily. I really like this clamp. Then, on to the new parts. What parts should we choose next? Should we go with the deck? I got the new small pandemonium deck. It's 409 mm long and 120 mm wide. It's really, really light. And I really like the look of this deck. And it's in gunmetal black. Then I got the Ethic Mero 2 SCS port, or HIC actually. We're gonna run HIC in this custom build. When I have got the Ethic HIC shim, it's really sturdy. Should last a long time. I've got a uh, Epic headset in governmental black also and uh, an Epic rib tape with the white logo, not the cutout version. Oh. Then I got another Levictus wheels, 110mm and uh, this rib bearings to go with them. So let's go on, let's get on with building. We're gonna start with the fork and, and I'll put the lower bearing in there and then I'll slide it towards right here. Nicely. Oh no you should not use the scissors. In the upper bearing and uh, the HIC ring, keep the fork steady in there, and then the top cap, then the IHC shim, and then the top ball. Spinning nicely, smoothly. And then we will do the grip tape next. So let's measure it. I, I want the logo in the center as, and as I'm writing regular, I want the logo to be pointed towards me. So it will be facing this way. Sorry about the shades, but my daughter insists I wear them. Right tool for the right job. You see a lot of people using razor blades, but it, it's really a lot safer to use a mat knife. And now, expert on grip, 
grip tape, but it doesn't look all bad. So let's get on with the build. Um, I'm gonna put the brake back in and then I'll put the back wheel in place. I'll put the back bearings, bearings in, back wheel bearings in, and uh, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to just use my hand pressing them in. It didn't quite go as easily as I had hoped. Try the hammer, lightly tapping it. Um, I'm gonna go get a bigger hammer. I don't recommend using a hammer as you would easily destroy the barrels, but, but I had no better options. I'll put the grip grips on and uh, as I don't have a air compressor available, I will use hairspray. It will slide, the grips will slide nicely on and as the hairspray dries up, it will become quite sticky so the grips won't move anymore. I'll put some on the bars. and some into the grips. You can compare this method to the one in my first custom build. It's quite a difference. This one's so much easier. Some on the bars, some into the grip. Looking nice. Slide smoothly on the deck. Yes. Let's put it straight and tighten it up. So, this is how it turned out. 
And let's go to the part once and part once more. Um, we have a small epic pandemonium, 490 millimeter deck, 120 millimeters wide, analog Levictus wheels, 110 millimeters, district bearing, um, Ethic Mero version 2, 4, in crunch black, and uh, Ethic Gun Metal headset, one Henry double clamp, and uh, long way chronos titanium bars, and Ethic DDC ribs. Let's do a drop test and see how it came together. Five out of five. And a whip test. Really smooth and really light. See you in my next video.